What's up guys, how you guys doing? And welcome to a new series called 32 Teams, where I will review all 32 teams in the NHL after the 2022-23 season. This series will consist an overview of the regular season, player stats, team stats, and my overall opinion about the team. We will start in the Western Conference and then move on to the Eastern Conference. Today, we will review the Anaheim Ducks. Let's get started. The Overview this was the 30th season for the Anaheim Ducks in the National Hockey League. The Ducks made an effort to bounce back from the disastrous 2021 and 22 season, which only had 76 points, and make the playoffs for the first time since being swept by San Jose Sharks in the opening round in 2018. As Ryan Getzlaff retired at the conclusion of the 2021 and 22 season, this is also the first year without the season captain. Ducks have never started a season without a captain before. After losing to the Vancouver Canucks on March 19, 2023, the Ducks were eliminated from playoff contention and concluded the season with a poor record. The Ducks are in their first entire season under general manager Pat Verbeek after the team placed former general manager Bob Murray on administrative leave pending the outcome of an ongoing investigation. Jeff Solomon was appointed acting general manager on November 10, 2021. However, he later served as interim general manager when Murray announced his resignation. The Ducks then established Pat Verbeek, the team's permanent general manager, on February 3, 2022. The Ducks' goal differential at the end of the season was negative 129, the worst in the NHL since the 1999-2000 Atlanta Thrashers. Now, let's talk about the regular season. The Anaheim Ducks started their season strong with a high-scoring OT win against the Seattle Kraken, who was pretty good this season. However, they lost the next seven games they faced by a large margin. Unfortunately, this is kind of how the whole season went. They lost the second to last most games in the end show and had a huge negative goal differential of negative 129. Some of the worst games they had was losing 7-1 to Boston, 7-0 to Toronto, 6-1 to San Jose, and 6-1 to Nashville. They also lost 7-1 to the Islanders. However, they won some great games against great teams. For example, they beat the Stanley Cup champs Vegas 3-2 in a shootout and won 5-3 against the Colorado Avalanche, who were the 2021-2022 Stanley Cup champs. In most of the games they won, they won in overtime or shootout, as you can see here. In the first four game, first five games they won, it was all in overtime or shootout. In fact, they won their first regulation win in late November against the Rangers. Let me find that right here, which is in November, late November, which almost it's almost December, and they finally won the first regulation. That's it's not so good, meaning they were not able to close out the game in regulation. At the twenty three wins, ten of them were in overtime or shootout. Now let's talk about the player stats. With the retirement of Ryan Getzlaff, the Anaheim Ducks captain is vac vacant. The Ducks have many young talents, such as Trevor Zegers and Mason McTavish. But the player I really want to talk about is Trevor Zegers. Trevor Zegers had a great season of 65 points, having the most points out of all Ducks players. Zegers is a top tier center winger who can also play center. His game is built on his pro level mobility, which is complemented by an in transition quickness that changes the game's tempo. He's skilled at getting under opponent's skin and will aggressively look for chances to lay the body and establish separation while keeping an eye on the action as it develops. His dis distinct skill style of playing makes him challenging and frustrating to play against. Now let's move on to the team stats. So look at the face-off win percentage. It's pretty low with 46%, which is less than 50. I'm not sure what this one is. I'm going to skip that. Their penalty kill is not the greatest either. They are almost last with a 72% chance of killing the penalty. Their power play percentage is also low with a 15%, which is very low for a power play. Their goals against is they are first, which is not good because their first is bad. With four goals a game, which is high, it's very high. The goal is four, it's also very low, with a 2.5. And not to mention, their goal differential is negative 129, which is crazy. It's high, It's I, I've already mentioned it, it's very high, it's not good. And their team size is not good. Their point percentage, lowest, which means... 
They're the worst team in the NHL. It's not good. They do have many overtime losses, but it really doesn't matter at that point. I mean, they only have they have the least amount of points. It's just it's just not a good season for them. And their team stacks just show it. Forty seven losses. Almost the worst. Blackhawks are the worst. I'm making another video about the Blackhawks later. But the Ducks is it's just a terrible team stats for them. It really is not a good season for them. Now my overall opinion, I don't think any NHL team is bad. I just don't think they're as good as the other teams. And I honestly do believe and my Ducks have a future. I just think it will take a lot more time. But I think obviously I think they will be in the playoffs. I think in around three to four years that the Ducks will get close. If not close, then maybe in playoff contention. But I think they're going to be close in like three to four years. They're still in that rebuilding still. They don't really have a veteran. Other than like Ryan Strom, Adam Henrique, but they are close to retirement. So they need a a player that will be there for long, and that is where Trevor Zegers comes in. I would be afraid of Trevor Zegers. I mean, this guy has some young talent that hasn't even been fully unlocked yet. And if he has a better offensive team around him, I think his talent can be great. And even though they are the worst, one of the worst teams in the league, I think they have a future and can do many great teams things. And that would be it of the first episode, I guess you could call it. It might be a little short. I'm not too familiar with the Western Conference. I'm a Devils fan, so I mainly pay attention to the Eastern Conference. But I am trying to make videos of the Western and Eastern. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if I heard any more. I'm sorry if I heard any Ducks fans, but this is the truth. And be ready. I'm not sure what team's next. I think the Blackhawks are next. I could be wrong. I think they're next. If they're not, it's another team. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. I believe tomorrow I'll be uploading the Blackhawks episode. And yeah, stay safe. Enjoy anything. And summertime, so enjoy. Have a good one.